Today's a Good Day dot game is a halfway house located in Brooklyn, New York, where we house gentlemen from the ages of 21 through 80 that are not able to live on their own independently. We serve people coming from all walks of life, but specifically incarceration. My name is Matthew Randall. I've been convicted of rape and sodomy in the first. I went to trial. I was convicted. I was sentenced to 11 to 22 years. I did 14 years, nine months. I got out December 14, 2005. In February 2006, I became employed at the temp agency up until June. My back started acting up. I went to see my doctor, and he said I couldn't do that anymore. I couldn't do manual labor. I've been on SSI since about December of 2006. And this is 2014, and I'm still trying to get myself together. I regret the crime that I committed. I regret it for the rest of my life or something like that will never leave you. I got out of character. I took the wrong path and I kept going rather than stopping, I kept going. Knowing it was a strange path to be taken because I'd, I'd never been, been that way before, been on that side. So I took the path to the right my whole life and this time I went to the left and this is where it got me. I um. Not a moment goes by that I don't think about it, that I don't regret it. There's not a moment that it goes by that I don't think about the people whose lives I touched by doing what I did. I've always had the support of my family. They are my backbone. From the day of conviction to the time I got out, they didn't treat me any different, right? As long as they understand I was really trying to change from what I had done to get convicted. It was like, I'm the one doing a bid, but I'm not doing it alone. That's how I felt. My son came up once, and he didn't like the fact that uh, they tell him to strip and bend over. And he felt humiliated that he never came back again. After that, we just used to write one another. That's how we corresponded after that. These are the individual's lockers. The reason locks are on them, is to protect their food. One guy left his locker open so if somebody was hungry, they could come in and go in there and take something and eat. He was missing too much stuff. He decided to lock it like the rest of us. Hi, I'm Life Coach Joy Lane, and I'm here to help men and women in limbo reintegrate society after life behind bars. In order for them to do this successfully, they need access to any and all resources that are available to them, as well as a support system. And that's what I'm here for, to be a cheerleader for them and to rally them along the way.